turn has advanced. Let's watch. Okay. All right. Uh, of course not. So that means what he did was place guys over here. Okay. All right. What he most likely did was just place everything in Hawaii, and that's probably why he did this move over here too. Just to well, I don't, that actually doesn't make. Oh wait, no, he was trying to get a card piece because he wouldn't get one otherwise. That's it. That's what's most likely to me anyway. Yeah, he could also have tried. He could have gone down here instead. Uh, but. I don't think he did that. Honestly, that that this is bonus is a lot more important than this bonus. He needs to break this. Not really this. He need maybe later on, but this is the target. This is what he really needs to get. Okay, so obviously playing the card. Hmm. Okay. I could try defending this, and I have an airlift card. I could try and use that. Hmm. What seems most likely to me is that he'll try going around back because he has enough reinforcements to do it. But he could very well attack either one of these two. So he could he could attack anywhere really. Or he could even try. He's got a reinforcement card too, so he could place twelve guys here in Tomsk, and he'll have enough to take Mongolia, and then he could try a first move to ch ch uh, Cheetah. Hmm. Either way, that's what I'm most thinking he'll do. Huh. That's what seems the most likely. Okay, if he does that, I could try taking South Africa, and that would put me in the lead. Hmm. Or rather, keep me in the lead. And then I could try a blockade out of Western Siberia, but that seems... Uh, I don't want to give him... I... Hmm. Since he's got these guys over here, all he needs to do is get to France and blockade. France and Germany and blockade. And I can't get to him. I don't really like that. Hmm. I'm thinking... Uh, I, I, I could try and eliminate him over here. I think... Could I? I could, right? I think I could. 22, if I attacked with 22 and, uh, with 65% luck, uh, I mean, sorry, 65, no, 85% defense rates, uh, defense skill rates, he should kill two guys with those, with what he has right there. And sorry about my dogs. <laughs> if he kills two guys, then I'll lose a total of three that can attack. So I'll have t 19 guys that can attack Eastern Kazakh. Then 17. Then I could try taking this. I would lose eight more guys that could attack in that case. Uh, so 19. Then 17. Then 9. 7. 5. Three, one. I could do that, but then I wouldn't get Moscow, and I wouldn't be able to get the whole bonus. Oh man! And this is—that's also taking in. Ugh. <sighs> that would only work if he, mm, if he didn't place anything over here, which he shouldn't do. He should place everything over there to take something over here. But I have a feeling he's more clever than that. Hmm. Like he could very well try to take something over here. Hmm. 
if I didn't take Ufa, if I did not take Ufa, then I might be better off, from what I can tell. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Oh, I don't want him to attack Xinjiang or any of these places. If he attacks anywhere else, what I could try is Ufa, Finland, and then Ukraine. Although that would be actually... Hmm. could try this, and this, and this, and this. I could try hitting Iran with two, and this with everything else, and Moscow with something too. Oh man. Hmm. I'm not sure. I could try taking South Africa, but the thing is that doesn't really help me if he can if he can blockade in Europe. If he can blockade in Europe and he still has a path down here, that's still annoying. I need to get rid of that. I need to make sure he doesn't have a good path down there. Ugh, dang. There's so many things that could happen here. I think that... I don't think he would expect a move like this, though. A move uh, like what I'm thinking of. I don't, ex I don't think he would expect that. 19 attack in, uh, but he could very easily still, let's see, what would he need to do California? If he placed how much? Two in Tomsk. That's all I saw. So he placed eight guys over here. He's got two reinforcements extra you could put in from the card. So that's another 12 guys. So he could have a total of 20. Man, if he used those 20 guys anywhere, let's say like California, if he tried Cal, the thing is he could do even Tomsk. I have to defend four territories, basically. Now, I don't have to defend with all that much against everything, but I still need to defend every single location for this to work. I mean, I, I for this to guarantee at least work anyway, if I was to defend over here. If I tried, uh, let's see, if he hit into Mongolia, he would lose a minimum of seven possible attacking guys, a maximum of eight, which is much more likely, in fact. Uh, so what he would, if he was going to do that, he would place 12 guys in Tomsk. He would have 13 attacking. 13 would attack Mongolia. And the 13 attacking Mongolia would leave him with, let's say, five guys that could attack. So as long as I had four guys in Cheetah, in other words, if I place three in Cheetah, that's guaranteedly safe. Or I could move them, move three guys. Well, he might, yeah, I don't think he'd do that, though. Moving three guys to Cheetah may be good. Um, then, other than that, he would lose eight guys attacking Japan. Now, out of a possible 20, that means that he would have 12 guys that could attack. See, I think he might have done this also to say, Hey, man, I'm not placing guys over here. Obvi he's trying to trick me. Uh, obviously, he doesn't want to move them back because he wants to give me the impression that he's not putting anything there at all. So, let's see. If 20 guys over there, that would mean attacking Japan and losing eight so we'd have 12 that could attack in either of these locations meaning I'd have to have eight at least eight actually let's see analyze attack eight with a 12 ticket 12 will take it so I need nine so I need to place eight in each that's already more than my income and cheetah can allow if he used tw his 20 from uh, Hawaii to hit California, he'd lose 8, 10, 12, 14, so he'd have 6 attacking an anteater. Yeah, I don't have enough to cover all this. And there's the chance he could go to Mongolia and Cheetah. I could use the airlift card and try that as well, but th that seems a little ridiculous. I'm giving... I, 
I just don't see that as that amazing. It's like I'm giving him too much. Honestly, I think I think doing something like this might be better. Attacking through here. Hmm. It's hard to say though because he could very well use all of it and uh, not uh, even mess with this. And if he goes to Mongolia, then this won't work as well as I hope it would. Um, 11. Okay, behind the ordered delay card. I'm hoping he'll think I'll defend it like that, though. And so he'll try to uh, make it a, a very strong attack with everything in one location, or he'll try the sneakiest and coolest move from my perspective, which is hitting Mongolia first move with 13, and then trying to hit Cheetah. That's what I think the best move is from his perspective. Uh, because it's the most sneaky and the most unexpected because I would obviously expect something like this or he could try Anadur that's I guess he could think that's sneaky it's really sort of obvious from my point of view but anyway I know all those moves are there I just can't cover them all so I I don't really want to try or I guess I could if I used an airlift card but it would be really risky it it doesn't seem worth it in my opinion try doing that to cover my bonus for one more turn when I'm giving him the opportunity to over here get into France and Germany and blockade in fact he could have done that instead of doing what he did what I'm thinking he did over here he could have tried to place stuff in France I mean he could have tried to place stuff in Ukraine and taken these territories and then blockade now I hope he didn't because that means basically I can't take I can't do anything over there. But it's possible. It's very possible. All right. Well, I'm going to go for this because I think he won't expect it. So I don't know if it's right. It might not be a very well could not be the correct move. Hmm. I'm attacking with five over here because I think that it's very possible he could try and it's very possible that he could try and uh, place one more guy someplace over here or attack uh, try and hit Murmansk with two and if he did that he would lose a guy and I would only lose one he would lose well he would lose both his guys and I would only lose one so I should still, t still take both of these uh, oh man this is so risky <laughs> okay if I attack with two there and then Oh man. Oh, I don't know what to do with these guys. All right, five over here. That's good. If I tried hitting Tomsk and then, uh, oh man. <laughs> uh, if I tried hitting Tomsk and Eastern Kazakh, Western Kazakh. Georgia. Hmm. Ukraine with two. Moscow with everything else. And then transfer you guys over here. And this will be advanced transfer only. Okay. In other words, if he tried to blockade in Ukraine. Hmm. All right, now the trouble with this. Let's cancel that and that and that. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> okay, so 17. If I attack with 17 over here, I'll lose three that can attack. Only I'll only have two losses in all likelihood, but I'll lose three guys that can attack. So Because one has to stay behind in each territory, so... 14 would be attack here, then I'd have 12, then 10, then 8. Uh, then 6. Wait, why don't I try also hitting this with 2? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hit you with two. 
you with everything else and you and you then you with two you with uh, everything else and you that means okay so 17 down to 14 12 10 8 6 4 2 nothing and then a transfer in here to Moscow that might be good oh man but this is extremely risky basically the biggest advantage I can glean from this is that I will be able to freely expand over here and he'll lose all his positions in the area that is the big advantage if this doesn't work in a single strike then he might have me beat the game may be over quite literally uh, especially if I try something like what I'm thinking a blockade card in Western Siberia and I could try uh, something like cheetah 2 or I could try hitting Mongolia with 2 Oh, jeez. I want to hit Mongolia with two. <laughs> Honestly, I really want to try that. I really want to hit Mongolia with two instead of Xinjiang. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Now... He'll probably use all his order delays to do whatever he does. He'll, If he was going to do this, he would use all his order priorities, get into Mongolia, and then he would or use all his order delays and go to Cheetah and etc. Because he would want my armies, if I tried to do something where I make everything last move, move between the territories, he would want to beat that. Basically, if I tried to place 8 in Kamchatka and 8 in Kaporovsk, and then I try moving into each other, uh as a last move or last moves he'll beat those out so that it'll still be as if I just placed each in each ter eight in each territory he'll be attacking them with the same numbers and I'll have the same numbers defending uh, cheetah I also want to try blockading because that's rather significant now, hopefully this works as well as I want it to Hopefully he didn't go to Germany and France, or even anywhere like Poland or Italy, because if he did, then I can't do anything to stop him. He'll be able to blockade in Germany and France, and I I will be able to defend East Russia, I think, but it's going to be a lot harder for me to win. Alright. This doesn't seem half bad, honestly, just because I don't think he'll expect it, he'll see it coming. Because he should expect me to try to defend East Russia. If he doesn't, then I'm I'm just gonna be in awe because he's a really good player. Now he could try something small where he he literally he does expect me to do this, but he realizes this is a threat in the back of his mind. So even though he knows I probably won't do this, he could think, okay, well. I guess I can use two like, two guys in another spot over here and try to take like Tad or Kurg or Xinjiang, which is the reason this two is going there, or Poland or Italy, or even Moscow or Murmansk, something like that. He could try, or Omsk, for that matter, anywhere, although that would not be the best place. He could try that. But I... I... The, if he does that, then that makes his attack over here much weaker. And it means that I actually could defend all of these locations if I use the air, airlift card correctly. Because all I need to have is four in Cheetah. So I basically just need to airlift three guys. I mean, sorry, mo transfer three guys, first move, and they definitely get in before anything of that, like that happened. And then I could airlift the others to Anadur, and that would, let's see, you lose eight, ten... 12, 14 guys, so he would not have enough to take Anadur unless he got lucky over here, which is possible, but it's not likely. So he would not be able to take Anadur, and then if I placed 8 in Kamchatka and Kaparovsk, 
then I'd be able to defend all of these territories, all four of them. So he should want to use every bit of reinforcements he can to take this. He should want to do that. He should want to put all the pressure that he possibly can into one area and hit it hard. That's just what I think is the best move from his, uh, unless he considers this, which is unlikely but possible, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> and it's unlikely that's exactly the reason I really want to do it, because I don't see him seeing this coming. <laughs> yes, uh, I ran may be unnecessary, but I feel like if he was going to go someplace to just get a little starting ledge down here, a starting spot on his way down to Africa. In other words, if he wanted to get an extra territory, this would be the one to get. Because it's it, it would help him the most in getting down to Antarctica. So this is the most likely of this, and then Moscow and Murmansk, and possibly Xinjiang, although I don't see that as likely at all. But it's possible he might want to start going over there. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and commit with this. We'll see what happens when BTNN does his turn. Hopefully I've read the game right and I'm making the right move because it's really a guess, an educated guess, but a guess nonetheless. I mean, if this move doesn't work, then he's, and he actually, and he breaks into East Russia while at the same time keeping a territory over here, then it's going to be a lot harder for me. If he doesn't do that, though, if he does not consider this possibility, then this should destroy him because he's he was going to lose the possibility to touch me over here, really, and I'll be able to freely expand in both West Russia and Caucasus. And I don't know what he can do about that from his uh, location. Now, if he went to Japan, actually, he could try something. So that makes me want to try blockading over here as well. Like, maybe use a blockade card. Actually, redo orders. Let's go. Uh, let's use a blockade. Oh, wait. I do have... Good. Blockade in King High and Tibet, because that's where he'd go. He would not take the long route over here. He would have to go to Tibet or King High, but Tibet's most likely. Cards, another in Tibet. Uh, close, Tibet, yes. No. Card. Play. Tibet. Yes. There we go. Okay. So, that's the most likely thing that I can see him doing. Now I can also, next turn, take India uh, or Pakistan with something. And if I take Pakistan, well, is Pakistan? No, it was Thailand. Thought so. If I take Pakistan with something and I can blockade there too, then he's really got no path to me. And that's why I do this blockade in Cheetah, because then he can't go through Mongolia, which is the smallest barrier for him over here. Now, possibilities do still exist over here, with going down here, maybe. And that's something he could try, too, but that, that doesn't help him as much as breaking this bonus would. Like, he could try going uh, with... Would that work, actually, if he lost eight? Uh, then he had six. I mean, no, 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 ten lost, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, he could attack with two and simple. That would be pretty dumb from my point of view, though, because I'd still have so many guys over here I could crush. Uh, I... I, I don't see that as being a very good move at all. <laughs> Honestly. Um, it's a good move from this set of moves that I have, but otherwise it's not. Alright. I've talked enough. I'm just going to commit. I like what I'm doing. We'll see if it works. 
Sorry about the girly noises in the background. Uh, I think I thought of something a little better. This move is a little... it doesn't really make sense for him to go to Xinjiang, honestly. So I don't really want to do that. If I go here, and then I go here, that'll give me two more guys. That'll give me a total of... If he doesn't place anything over here, then uh, that'll be uh, two more. So I'll have, gosh, I'm sorry for those noises, three. Uh, I'll lose from 17 down to 14, to 12, to 10, to 8, to 6, to 4, and I'll have two left over in Moscow. And the two left over in Moscow, guaranteedly two left over, maybe more if I get lucky. Uh, or actually, that might be about on the odds. Uh, two, and then one more from this. So I'll have three guys here in Moscow. Now, if I airlift these guys up here so that he can't see them like in Archangelsk, then I can use those guys to help me take Ufa next turn. In addition to the eight uh, reinforcements I'll have from Antarctica. So play the airlift card from South Africa to Archangelsk. That will be good. Now I'm still not all that sure how this is, uh, well no I do know how this is better because it does get me, <sighs> here's the thing, I thought about it, He, if he goes this route, which I think is very possible, and tries to hit me an anitor, then, and he will take it then if he does that, then he'll still have the ability to take this bonus with 10 reinforcements in one more turn. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. That's my uh, my younger brother's girlfriend. Oh man. But they're having fun in the other room. Oh man, dang it. It's a really iffy scenario for this game. I feel sad that he... uh that he was able to blockade in Nunavut and uh, Quebec and Svalbard. But this should help a lot. If I can take Ufa, that'll be great. Although, honestly, I think... Yeah, yeah, this is actually good. Uh, uh, okay. And yeah, I can I can commit. Oh man, I'm just so afraid of this move over here. I hope he doesn't do that. I hope he goes through Japan or Mongolia. If he goes through Mongolia, then I will not be uh, unhappy. I will be unhappy that he can get over here though, but that's the price we pay. No, I would much rather him go through Japan. That would be the most advantageous for me. If he went through Japan, then I would be okay. If he went through California, that would leave this area open for him to expand. In Central America, this would be a big problem for me. That's why another thing I was considering was airlifting over here, but that, that's not really viable. Uh, all right. Yeah, this is, I guess, the best I can come up with, really. Uh, I want to get myself into a position where I can threaten him from UK. And this will work best if he does stuff out of Japan. If he doesn't, then this might not work at all. Um... And hopefully he would, if uh, my ideal spot for him to attack would be Kamchatka. If he doesn't attack Kamchatka, if he attacks Kam Khabarovsk, for example, then uh, he will be able to see this blockade in Cheetah. If he goes to Kamchatka, he might assume that I have these and I haven't blockaded. Either way, though. And then if he took Anadir, that wouldn't be so bad except for his spot in California. That would be most horrible. Most horrible indeed. Alright, well, we'll see what happens when BTNN does his turn. <laughs>